Hey, good morning everybody. Josh DeStefano here, pianist, composer, writer, teacher. And today we're going to talk about my top five best things about being in the Army Band. But before we do that, I'd like to say if you're new to the channel, please think about subscribing and ringing that bell. If you hold on long enough, at the very end of the video, I will give you the secret, the guaranteed secret to surviving in the Army Band. All right, coming in at number five, travel the world. I've lived in three different countries, four if you include Iraq, which I probably wouldn't. I've, I've been all over the United States, from Alaska to Florida to LA to Detroit, playing gigs, traveling around. I've been all over Europe, I've been to the Middle East, I've been to Asia. We did a tour in Estonia. So, you get to see the world. The number four best thing about the Army Band is you can avoid getting a real job. Now, of course, it is a real job. You get paid, you work, but it never felt like that. Most of the time it was a blast because you're with the same people all day, you know, for sometimes from six in the morning until midnight. There's a lot of bonding. It feels more like a family than co-workers. There's also a fair amount of immaturity, which some people would probably view as a negative. I personally enjoyed it. I'll, I'll give you an example. When we were in Iraq, my roommate had this really disgusting looking cowboy hat that he liked to wear on gigs. So one day the rest of us got this cowboy hat and took all these alluring photos of the cowboy hat without much clothing on, you know, very posed, you know, for him to find. And one of these photos was taken with another friend of ours. You may have seen images of people in the army and they're all very fit and muscular and trimmed. And that's definitely the image that the military pushes forward of its super warriors. And there are plenty of people that look like that. But there are also plenty of people that look just more or less like everybody else. So my one friend, and I'm not going to use any names here, he took a picture of the hat, shirtless, posing with the hat on, a little hat, him shirt, and he's, he was Nordic, uh, had Nordic blood, so very, very pale skin, and also sort of a, a rounder fellow. So he looked a bit like an albino Mr. Potato Head. So he took a picture, and we all thought it was great. A little while later, my boss, you know, he leaves his office for a while and somebody sneaks in and uploads said picture onto his desktop. So he comes back from lunch, turns on his computer and you hear, what are you <laughs> Someone come in here right now and get this <laughs> on my computer. So, I mean, what's not to love about that? One more example of sort of the shenanigans, just because it, I believe it really kept so many of us sane. So I'm doing a gig somewhere in Belgium, and a friend of mine arrives separately, the bass player. Another fairly substantial fellow. I'm on stage setting up, and I see him bent over, you know, adjusting cables or something. You know, his shirt is pulled up, and he's showing off the old plumber crack, and I immediately recognize him and said, that's... That's, I'm not gonna say his name. I run up and I smack him on the bottom as hard as possible. Whack! Good, good full hand, you know, whack. He jumps right up, you know, obviously surprised, turns around to see who did it, and then imagine my surprise when I discover it's not my friend, but actually the sound guy that was there hired for the, the gig and was setting stuff up. The number three best thing about being in the army band according to me, is that you get to experience new and unusual things. When I was younger, I used to read a lot of Jack Kerouac and Ernest Hemingway, and and the, these people would go out and they would just experience these amazing things. And I thought, well, if I want to make great art, I obviously have to have done some things. And so through my experiences with the Army Band, I have done many things. You know, I've been deployed to combat twice. I've been in a sandstorm that was so thick I couldn't see three feet in front of me. Went swimming in the Bering Sea. Played old thousand-year-old beer festivals in Germany. I played at the foot of majestic castles in, in Italy. 
flown over Baghdad in a Chinook helicopter while you were getting shot at in the middle of the night. Unusual. Not everyday kind of stuff. The number two reason, the second best thing about being in the Army Band is the people. You will meet so many new and interesting people. I have friends all over the world. I've met with wonderful and amazing musicians. Because of the nature of the Army, how people are constantly moving, you're always meeting new people. You might work at one place and you think, okay, that's going to be the 20 or 30 people I work with. Not so. People are constantly coming in. Someone's leaving, someone new is coming in. So you're always meeting someone new. So sometimes the downside of a good friend of yours leaves, but that's the nature of the beast. All right, and that brings us to number one. The number one best thing about being in the Army Band, this may seem fairly obvious, is that you're getting paid to play music. It's your job. Not only are they paying you to play, but they're also giving you and your family medical and dental. They're buying your equipment. They're paying for your transportation. You know, they're providing the trucks or the buses or whatever you have to do. All you pretty much do is get on the bus and get off the bus. It's that simple. And, and even if the unthinkable happens, something like, say, a global pandemic. A global pandemic. That shuts down every venue and every possible place you can play, you're on salary, so you're still going to get paid. Okay, as promised, I'm going to tell you the two secrets to success to, for the Army Band. One, show up on time. Now in the Army, on time does not mean 8 o'clock. You're supposed to be there at 8 o'clock, you show up at 8, you're late. You want to aim for about 10 minutes ahead of that. Five minutes pushing it, two minutes if you want to raise your supervisor's blood pressure and probably get your, your ass chewed once in a while. Number two, secret for success, be in the right uniform. It's that easy. They say wear your dress uniform, don't show up in your PTs. All right. If you like the video, why don't you go ahead and give me a, a comment. If you have other things you'd like me to talk about, please let me know. I'll see you next time.